Hello everybody. Today we're gonna do a different kind of shopping video. Now, usually my shopping videos involve me going to a dealership and you know looking at cars, whatever they have on their used lot, to try and figure out what the you know what if I was the would-be shopper, you know what would I buy. But this time we're gonna do a digital version of the same thing, and we're gonna shop for another Lincoln Town car. Uh, I can definitely do these videos about Cadillacs, Buicks, uh, you know, Chryslers, Lexus. I mean, I do like Lexus too. Uh, but you know, we're gonna start. We're gonna start us off with Town Car. So I have four websites. This would be the four websites that I would use the most. It's Cars.com right here, Auto Trader. Although I, I don't know why the Continental came up, even though I've put in Lincoln Town Car. I got eBay because I've looked at stuff on eBay when I was actually shopping. I mean, that's how I found my car. I was I found it on Cars.com. It, it you know it, uh, showed up. It was local. It had the mileage, the price that that I that I wanted, and and I went out and I ultimately bought it. Uh, and then Facebook. I mean, Facebook is interesting. I know some of this stuff could be duplicate because I could see the same car and, and across all four of these platforms. But but we're gonna take a look and we'll see how how long it takes me. I mean, I could seriously do this for hours. I mean, this is what I used to do. <laughs> so, uh, and you can obviously do it at, at home. So for, for this selection or for this, I put um, basically use the Lincoln Town Car, uh, my zip code, and I didn't put any kind of mileage or, or geographic restriction. Uh, but ultimately what I was looking for when I was doing it for, for real is I was looking for something local to me. I was looking for something under, I mean, definitely under 10,000, uh, but I had a goal in my mind, and the goal was to trade in my 2013 Elantra and to pay as little as I possibly could for a new car. That, that was my goal, and, and if it wasn't a town car, it would have been something else. So so let's let's take a look. So we're going to use a similar experience of what I've, what I've done, and, and I love doing this. I, I do this quite often myself, just browse the internet. So let's pretend like... I'm looking for another town car, and this is what we're going to be doing. I will look at the details, too. So, I've got this video. It might, might be like three hours long. So, we'll see. All right. Yeah, 2005 black. I love black town cars. I think if they only made black town cars, they, they would um, they would have been successful. So, I'm going to open up these new tabs. Uh, I'm going to try not to do too much, and I'm, and I'm do the, the best match is fine. We don't care. Like, this particular one is really close to me. I mean, I, I live north of the Chicago Hare Airport. This is by the airport. Look, about 12 miles away. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Uh, this one, the ultimate fully loaded. Yep. Now, I do, just so that you guys know, I do love the, the fully loaded one. So, like, the signature stuff, I don't, um, you know, I, I don't like. I mean, I do like the ultimate because it was top of the line. Definitely love the designer series. It's my dream come true. Signature, eh, not too much. This body style, I mean, on Wes, super nice one comes up. Most likely the Cartier, I'll probably have to skip. I mean, no offense to anyone out there. This is just not my favorite. Yeah, this is this is my favorite body style right there. Okay, check this out. Cartier, nah, it's a bit expensive. Um, but you know, yeah, 184 miles. I mean, yeah, I could drive. I mean, I drove probably as far as about 60 miles one way to look at a, look at a town car, but that it was, it was pretty bad, pretty bad, um, condition. So I ended up not, not going to, uh, uh, pushing it now. Oh, here's another thing. I want my car to be a daily driver. I'm not into the whole museum pieces. I'm not into paying 20 grand for the lowest mileage town car. No, I don't, I don't, I don't want that. Uh, yeah, to me, this is way too many miles. It looks like it's modified and probably destroyed. Signature, nope. Oh my god, the designer series. The designer, love it. Lower mileage, I mean, it's quite far, but I, I seriously, I would have figured out a way how to pick it up. I don't have a trailer, I don't have a truck. It would have been literally just me probably renting a car or flying and then driving it back. Oh, okay, higher mileage, signature. Uh, signature, signature. I know I could filter this out too. Man. Um, okay, nice. 
I love this body style. Yep. Let's look at this and let's let's pick a few more. I mean, I obviously I can make these videos as as long as you want. Oh my God! Look at this, two hundred and sixty-six thousand miles. All right, let's just pick this one just just to kind of check it out. And let's do one more signature signature limited. Okay. Yep. This is good. All righty. So let's look what Cars.com bring brings us. Uh, oh, look at this YouTube channel. So G G. Oh, just G Motor Cars. I'm like GM Auto. No, like GM Motor Cars. All right. So we got 05 Signature Limited, 9900. Uh, I mean, it's one year older, but yeah, the other mileage is is quite quite nice. Um, okay, they don't put any description. Sometimes they put some stuff. And obviously, the only thing we look in at are the pictures. Okay, so G Motor Cars. I mean, just looking at it right here. I mean, it looks beautiful, of course. And you guys are more than welcome to <laughs> go watch their YouTube video. No, no harm done. <laughs> I'll probably go watch it myself. The canvas top. So here's the thing. When I was actually shopping, I try to avoid canvas top. And the reason for that is because I live in a condo place. I don't have a garage. I don't have any kind of cover. Um, it's a daily driver. Now, look, it does look like this particular one is missing one of these in the back. Uh, so even though if, if they would have got in, if I would have got it in a nice shape, I realized it very quickly, I would lose that top. I mean, birds would, would scratch at it. I, I live right next to a city park, so it's, it's, it would have been destroyed pretty badly. I mean, it's a black on black, very nice look. Yep. Fully loaded heated seats. I love, I love how these, these armrests, they never stay in place. Just, they never do. This Corolla is very annoying, by the way. It's like staring at me. I do love the last generation gauges where you had the tachometer. I know it's useless. I get it. But, um, but I mean, I would, I would buy a town car with this gauge, with these gauges. I don't mind. And I love older steering wheels. So <laughs> I guess I can't have it all. Oh, this one has a tape deck in here still. Uh, factory. Look at this. It's got a factory sunroof. Very nice. I do love my sunroof. I know several of you said that, you know, it's useless. It leaks. And yes, to somebody who doesn't like it, it's useless and, it, and they do leak. But, uh, but I do use it for, for sun, just even if I don't open it up. Okay. Yeah. I mean, nice. No, no corrosion. All right. I would definitely put this one, um, as a strong, maybe mostly because of this. Now, keep in mind, I don't know what mechanical state of these things are, obviously. All right. Ultimate 2004 eh, it would have been a little bit higher mileage than I would like. But at the same time, I wouldn't pass it up um, for the mileage, especially that it's the fully loaded. Once again, uh, I'm, I don't know. I don't know about these tops. I mean, this is like a quarter top. Uh, I mean, it looks good. I wish that I could make the pictures bigger, but then I would lose the resolution. Okay, so Ultimate, it's got the old style sensors there. Oh, love the steering wheel. Absolutely love the steering wheel. The best. All right, got heated seats. Seems to be in nice shape. Sunroof too, man. Factory sunroof, it's rare. I'm, I'm surprised I'm finding that many. All right, seats look nice. I wonder if the driver's seat is sunk in. But yeah, seats look awesome. All right. Okay, I mean, it looks clean. Yep, that there's that. I like this display. I, I mean, I know it costs them more money, but, uh, but I enjoy it. I wish they would have put more functionality in it. But, all right, yeah. Uh, mileage, yeah, mileage is a little is a little higher for me than I would like. I am I think it's a bit pricey, but if it's no rust, I mean, where is this thing? Um, St. Charles, Illinois. Okay, so not too far. Not too far from me. Yeah, this is another maybe. Low miles, Hyundai, where is this? Hyundai, 2003 Cartier, okay, 78,000, uh, Indiana, I don't know where Noblesville is, but it's all right, all right, I mean, Indiana, it's doable, Genesis, okay, all right, those are odd placement for pictures, also with this canvas top, and I love the chrome wheels, obviously, they are in good shape, okay, they obviously need to get a better camera, and like better lighting, I would have definitely heat gun this thing off or, or asked them to because I, I hate this stuff. Stuff on the license plate is okay, but not here. Okay, good steering wheel, but it does look like the buttons are all kind of gummed up over here. Uh, 70,000, good, good stuff. 
love this love fog lights um, okay good good stuff good stuff another sunroof another factory <laughs> change oil now see when they take pictures like don't they don't they think of this stuff like just erase it all right I love the Cartier symbol okay oh no button now I'm always wondering like does it really cost the dealership that much money to get one of these little things put in and get one of these would bring more money or more possibility of a customer nice chrome all right they only took two pictures but once again strong maybe not a big fan of the top but everything else looks legit other than those few little pieces missing all right this is something new oh this is the designer wow okay designer designer kansas oh here uh miriam kansas okay kansas city i don't know what oh okay oh wow okay so they've put some some effort in oh my god okay can i just can i just look at normal black designer oh my god my dream chrome more chrome more chrome wow 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 okay so the seat is starting to show i mean it's it's hard to tell but obviously there's a giant butt imprint obviously love the piping i wish that they, they were more common oh my god gray interior although I, i'm i don't know if this is all original uh i'm questioning this i mean you guys might know better than me but it, it might be some sort of a parts car okay that's a crappy interior picture although here it's gray oil chain once again guys you know erase this uh oh i know what this means i had that happen that's about uh 600 to 800 bucks worth of repairs um okay nice buttons sunroof man we're getting lucky with sunroofs all right the back seats look wonderful although yeah i mean okay so maybe this color combo wow that's good that's rare i don't i haven't seen this before maybe you guys have but i haven't all right okay well well i mean it's very nice although the the wood looks like it's the same color as everything else like normal wood like that's my color of the wood so i, I don't know i'm maybe some weird combination for color and then it also has standard wheels for a designer i mean here's the thing i would have i would have loved to look at this car and if if there was nothing major on it i yes I, that that so far that's the one i would have got all right let's see oh okay so 97 executive so it's not a fully loaded cartier let's see where is it texas well that this the car would have been should have been or would have been really nice for me to get over to texas and drive it back uh or order you know shipping of course oh look at that look at that picture two crown vicks another town car or maybe it's a mercury i don't know all right tan interior not a big fan of tan interior says the guy with the tan interior um let's see what do we got okay so obviously basically all right looks like it's got the window sticker i'm not sure if it's the original one or not all right lots of keys i uh, can't see pictures are pretty crappy on, on this website you can't really zoom them in so that's one bad thing um you know uh, yeah i mean going to texas to look at a car yeah that's a long shot so i'll have to pass um signature limited yeah so this is the one i, I just want to look at it i mean it, uh, yeah I, w I wouldn't have bought a car like that with so many miles now i understand it can be in great shape uh, not arguing on that but yeah i just as a daily driver i, I think i would be too scared obviously the yeah the seats are destroyed like they normally are town car i mean nice rims at least from the pictures i don't know what that is some sort of a stain or are they showing me that it has headliner mm, yeah i mean obviously it's a it's a 260 000 mile car i mean who knows what works on it what doesn't tan interior it's a little dirty but i mean it's understandable i don't know i can't see anything okay clear headlights nice no lots of pictures looks clean l is missing although whoa but 
that's the least of the worries, yeah? I mean, it's... I mean, it looks nice. Yeah, not a bad color combo, obviously. Too much for me. All right, and then the last one, and then we'll probably cut to another video after that. But I do want to look at the other one, so... All right, so... Nice color. Mm, looks like I can see corrosion on rims. Even from this angle, oh my God, the seat! You're probably I know this feeling when you when you sit down and and your butt is like touching the metal rail underneath. Yeah, I know that. I know that feeling. Um, yeah, I mean low miles, 2009, nice color, but uh, all the way in California. Uh, yeah, well, would have had to pass. All right, everybody, I guess I'll be making a bunch of other videos because I I mean there's a lot more obviously where that came from. But, um, well, I mean, what the hell? Five grand, 88, 27,000 miles. How is that even possible? I'm surprised it's that cheap. So I'm power windows. Okay, they didn't put any sort of description here. Where is this thing? Oh, crap, wrong direction. Carroll Stream, Illinois. Wow, also local to me. Wow. Now, I would love to have this generation of a town car, but. Obviously, I mean, uh, I would, to buy it, I would have to, I mean, I love the price, I love the mileage, I mean, how could you go wrong, but, you know, is this one of those, it's been sitting for 20 years special, and now, you know, you need another 20 grand to get it going, because every, everything on this town car needs to be replaced, but, I mean, wow, it's a, once again, another sunroof, I, I rarely see them with a sunroof, I mean, looks good, <laughs> If this was mechanically sound, and if it's not a giant rust, I mean, I can see a little rust spot, but, you know, that's understandable for such an old car. The interior looks great. Although, no, no, it does not. <laughs> right when I said that, I see duct tape, so <laughs> maybe not. Yeah, I mean, I would have had to, you know, bring in somebody who can look at this thing mechanically, because, I mean, otherwise, like, it looks very dusty to me, but, I mean, it looks awesome at the same time. Look, original, stereo still phone geez antenna i don't know why they put antenna next to the climate control look okay, everything so uh, i can't really tell 40 41 000, i think it says i don't know if that's right oh no 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 definitely not 40 some maybe 30 31 i don't know somebody somebody chewed it up all right, anyway, like I said in the beginning, I could look at this. Oh, the, oh 29. I don't know where I got 31. 29,000 originally. All right, yeah, I can do this all day, but obviously you guys got a life. So, all right, everybody, we'll see you next time.